While working with SQL Server, have you ever done any mistakes which you feel you want to undo it? Like truncating a table, writing an update without where condition or just deleting something which you do not want to delete. If answer is yes, continue watching this video because I am going to show you how you can save yourself. Hi there, this is Pinal Dave and welcome all of you to this another episode of SQL in the 60 seconds. We often wish that we can do Ctrl Z or undo any of our action. Today, I'm going to show you how you can undo any of the mistake in SQL Server with the help of backup. Here, I'm creating database SQL authority. Once database is created, I'm setting it into full recovery model. Without setting database in full recovery model, you cannot get your original data back. Now, once that is done successfully, let's select the statement where we are changing the context of our database to SQL authority. Next, we'll create a table, which is a very small table with a single column. Right following that, I'm taking a full backup of this database. Please note that I have just created a table but it does not contain anything in it. Once the backup is successful, next task is to insert some data into my table. Here, I'm inserting three different rows into my table. Once that is done, next task is to remember the timestamp when we have done this, because at this point of time, my world was perfect. And if I ever want to come back here, I need to know my time. Now, here is the timestamp which I will save and put into comment right below over here. Next, I'll check select star from table. Here, it display three different rows which I just inserted into it. Next, I'm going to do a disaster. Let's truncate this table. If you have heard before that truncate is not logged, well, that's not true. Truncate is locked, but very different way than delete or any other command. You can always revert back truncate operation with the help of log file the way I am showing you. Let's select data from our table. As we have truncated our table, it contains nothing in it. Next, I'm going to take a log backup. Let's execute the statement and now my log backup is successful. Let's assume that now you want to go back where your world was perfect and you had not executed truncate command. Let's see how we can do that. First, we are going to restore our database with the help of restore database command. Here, I'm using no recovery and replace because I'm going to replace my original database with this database. Click on execute and my database is restored successfully. Now I'm going to restore my log file on the top of full backup. But here I'm going to do one very important task. If you remember, I had saved the time where my world was perfect. Now I'll copy this time and put this over here in this stop at command. Stop at command will stop execution of this log file at the point which you specify over here. Next to that, I have a recovery command. That means my database will be back into action. Now, let's execute this statement and it completes successfully. Now is the time to check if we have got back our three rows or not. Let's select the statement, click on execute, and there we go. We successfully retrieved all three rows which we had accidentally truncated. If you like what you see, please subscribe to this channel because I'll be sharing many similar tips like that. I'll see you soon in another episode of SQL in the 60 Seconds.